Hello everyone. Myself Dr. Kajal Rai. Today we are going to discuss an example of Hayes diagram in discrete mathematics. We have already seen how a diagram can be converted into a Hayes diagram. Now this is a second example of Hayes diagram. Suppose a set is given to you. It is set A in which some elements are there and it is given by the relation that A divides B. Suppose this type of question is given to you and you have to draw the Hayes diagram for that uh, partial order relation on the given set. Then how we can make it? So we already had done the example in which we had uh, given a diagram and we converted it into a Hayes diagram. And we converted it using uh, some steps. First step was to remove the reflexive loops. Second step was to remove the transitive lines and third step was to remove the arrows. So by removing arrows it was find out that the case diagram is in the upward direction always in the upward direction. So we try to make it from the starting point that in the upward direction. What does it mean? Means that smallest element we will keep it in the uh, bottom side and largest element at the upper side. So first there is an element 1. Suppose 1 is there. Now the relation is A divides B. That means 1 divides 2 so we can easily make this type of relation. 1 divides 2. No problem. Now 3 cannot be divided by 2 so we can't make it on the upper side of 2. But 3 can be divided by 1. So we can make 3 here on the same level just as 2. Just 2 ka level hai, usi same level pe hum 3 ko bhi bana sakte. Now comes to 4. 3 can't, be, uh, 3 can't divide 4 but 2 can divide 4. So we can make 4 here which is divided by 2 like this. Now 6 is there. 6 can be divided by 3 but not 4. So we can make 6 here. But it can also be divided by 2. So we can make this line also. Right. Now 12. 12 can be divided by both 4 and 6. Right. So we can make a point 12 here which is divided by 6 and which is divided by 4. Right. Now it comes to 18. 18 can't be divided by 12. Okay. But 18 can be divided by 6 and 3 and so on. Right. So we can make 12 and 18 on the same level. Now 36. 36 we can make it here. 36 can be divided by 12. Right. And 36 can also be divided by 18. Cos 18 to the 36, right? So, in this way, we can make a hair diagram for any set based on some relation. This is the final Hayes diagram of a relation. You can easily check that we didn't draw the lines which are transitive or which are reflexive. So, this is the way we can easily make the hair diagram for it, right? Now suppose there is a question in which D36 is given. So what does that mean? It means the elements which can divide 36. So this is the same we can say it can divide it by 36. So whatever elements is divide it, this is a given relation. Now in 36, we can divide it by 36. 1 can divide it by 2, 3, like that, 4, 6, 12, same you can see. That same elements are there. So, this may be the house at that. Now, you elements could be done. But, you can't say who is there. And, who is there? Set A, the house same type of elements. You can't give one. So, there are types of questions at exams, university exams, competitive exams. So, you can practice all these kind of things. Thank you very much.